and the fuel system. Fuel tanks may be flexible, bag or bladder, rigid, aluminium alloy or reinforced plastic, or integral, formed by spars, ribs and skin of the aircraft, which is used on modern transport aircraft. Tank details precautions. There must be sufficient space to allow the contents to expand when heated. Baffles are placed across the tank so that fuel does not move around the tank to a large extent during manoeuvres. Flap valves fitted in the baffles allow fuel to flow inboard towards the engine feed collection point, but not outwards towards the wing tip. Contents are measured by float valves on small aircraft or capacitive systems on large aircraft. Light aircraft are refueled typically over the wing. Large aircraft are refueled typically under the wing by pressure refueling systems. Refueling valves in each tank operated by selector switches on the fuel load control panel shut off automatically by flap valves when fuel reaches a specified level within the tank. Ground equipment must be bonded to the aircraft before refueling starts and released after refueling finishes. Venting prevents damage to fuel tanks by positive or negative pressures. On small aircraft, tanks are vented to atmosphere. On large aircraft, tanks are coupled to a vent pipe within the wing which is attached to a vent tank. The vent tank usually takes the form of a flush fitted ram air intake from which fuel tanks are pressurised by ram air. A feed box in the fuel tank is used to increase the fuel level at the boost pump location. The pressure at boost pumps is typically 20 to 50 psi. On the Boeing 737, each fuel tank uses two 115 volt AC powered fuel pumps, which are fuel cooled and lubricated. Fuel system schematic. Low pressure fuel enters the high pressure pump via a low pressure valve. This passes to the fuel control unit and the fuel control levers can meter the fuel via the high pressure valve to the engine nozzles. Fuel flow measurement is made after the high pressure valve. 